And I don't even know no more Rolling down the strip in my two-door Chevrolet And the wheels keep turning And I don't even know no more Rolling up the block in my two-tone black and gray How's it going, everybody? I'm SmokeCobra13, and welcome back to another NASCAR pickups video. And today, we are doing the Charlotte Roval till Martinsville till, you know, till now, pretty much. It's been about two months since I did a NASCAR pickups video. It's been, you know, it's been quite some time since I did another one. I have gotten a lot of racing stuff over the time, and I'm happy to show every single one of y'all what I got. So, let's get into the video. The first thing I'm going to show you are the race pins that I got. This is the Charlotte Roval race pin. And this one is the Xfinity 500 race pin from Martinsville. As usually, the Martinsville pin is always really nice and the Roval one is always really nice. So, pretty happy I got these. The next one that I got is this awesome Martinsville 75th anniversary rally towel. Pretty much, you can just swing it around. Since this is the 75th anniversary at Martinsville, my home track, I had to get this because I think it's a really cool display to have it like on my top shelf or something. And I thought this thing is pretty unique and I only gave it five bucks for it. And this is the Bobby Allison, like a grape jelly jar. This is the Bama Champion uh, Driver Series. So I only paid five bucks for it. Thought it was really cool, really unique antique jar glass thing. So I ended up picking it up. So I had to order this from the Ticket Central from Martinsville Speedway and they were selling these Martinsville replica tracks as this is the box for it. And you gotta be really easy when you open this thing cause it will fall out. It's pretty much a miniature Martinsville track, little display thing you can put on your desk table or something, but this thing is kind of cool. Uh, the paint on it is kind of like a little rushed. It's a little bit rushed on it. For what I pay for it, I mean, it's pretty much what you're going to get for the price what you're paying for and now I got my home track at my house now So I got these souvenirs for free and this is the Promotional for the NASCAR rivals game that came out It got the lanyard and it also came with like a huggy a NASCAR rivals koozie and a lanyard and I met Rusty at Charlotte and uh, Always a great guy always such a cool dude to talk to promoting the NASCAR rivals game and uh, they had these freebies and I had to pick them up. So we are getting to the hero cards. This is a Spencer Boyd hero card autograph that I met Spencer Boyd at Charlotte again. Really cool guy to talk to and he gave me an autograph and I took a selfie with him. Really nice guy, really cool to run into him. This is a Eric Almarola hero card. He's not hanging up the helmet yet. Pretty cool looking hero card. They had his, like the special edition Mustang number 10 Smithfield car out for display and for a giveaway as well. And they also had his race car on display. And right in front of it, they had these hero cards. So I ended up getting one. So I got this on eBay to go with my die cast. And this is the Austin Cendrick Daytona 500 champion signed that I ended up getting. As you can tell on the other side, this is the Chase Elliott one. So I got this one since I was at this race to see this in person. I think this thing looks really cool to have for the collection. And it is really big. I didn't expect to be this big. I kind of want a small one to fit in the shelf right here. But either way, it's cool to have. And I'm glad I have this. Alrighty, let's go into the books. This is the Martinsville fall program for the Xfinity 500. At first when I bought this I thought this was the one from the spring because they kind of look alike but no this is the one for the fall race as at the bottom is because of the sponsors for the race but it does look similar to the spring program but I'm happy I got this one. Unfortunately the Roval race did not have a program which that was pretty much of a bummer, unfortunately. When I was in South Boston, I came across this tent that were selling like handmade books. And this book pretty much got me interested and I actually picked it up. And this is called Gentlemen, Start Your Engines, The History of Racing in Halifax County, Virginia, where I'm from. 
And this book is legitimately handmade with newspaper clippings and everything. Like, and they take it all and they print it on one sheet and they put it in a page for this book. As you can tell, this is the Thunderbird Hell Driver. And it's something to have to learn more about your short track, you know, the history of it, everything that happened, all the events went down. It's a pretty cool piece of history to have this. I was actually looking for this and I actually picked this up last week. And this is the Jimmy Johnson in the 48 book, One More Lap. This book is really cool. It's got so many things inside as it has a lot of pictures in it, a lot of stories as this is when he was doing the IndyCar for the first time. It tells you everything about his NASCAR career, his IndyCar career, IMSA career. It's got a little bit of stories, mainly pictures inside, but it, it tells the story of each picture. Highly recommend you to get this book if you're into racing regardless, Jimmy Johnson whatsoever. This book is actually worth the purchase and I love it. So I got this hat. This is the Xfinity 500 limited edition hat. This is number 36 of 500. I actually got this hat at Martinsville and this is the Dale Senior hat. It's kind of like the 2001 hat. And when I saw this, I had to get it because I have a short collection of Dale Senior hats and this is one of them that I really like. So I found it, picked it up. Pretty cool hat. And on the back of it says RCR on the side, on the back of it. And it's got number three on the side. So uh, pretty cool. I got this. I forgot to show you this. This is the Alex Bowman Dirt Street Drift sticker uh, for ABR Mooresville, North Carolina. Uh, this is also the jacket the hoodie i got with it too and i got the sticker with it so uh really unique and uh alex bowman really comes up with some really cool ideas for designing his merch so i, I had to get this because i thought it's a really nice looking josh berry shirt this josh berry shirt is so cool and it is a long sleeve josh berry shirt and but on the back of it i love that scheme that scheme is so nice i love it my Josh Berry collection is really small, and Josh Berry is my favorite Xfinity driver, so uh, I saw this shirt on display and picked it up, and I thought it looks really good, and I cannot wait to see what other Josh Berry merch is coming out for next year, because I'm trying to get all of Josh Berry's die casts and his shirts and stuff, because he's definitely a guy to watch out in Xfinity and I mean, he advanced to the Final Four for the championship, which is very impressive on this type of guy. They were actually giving these away at Martinsville. The Xfinity Series shirt. It is a extra large, but more than likely I'll pretty much sleep in the shirt. Uh, pretty cool that they were giving these away. And when Xfinity sponsors Martinsville, they go all out with their sponsorship as well. They'll give you free things and pretty happy that they gave us free shirts because I actually don't have many NASCAR Xfinity t-shirts. So uh, this is really unique and uh, appreciate Xfinity for doing this too. All right, this is all what everybody is waiting for is the die cast. So let's get into the 164s. So this is the Charlotte Roble program car for this year's. Pretty cool looking, pretty nice. We got Kevin Harvick's Mobile One car that I saw this car win at Richmond. And with all that confetti, this car is going to look really good with all that confetti on it. So Kevin Harvick's Mobile One car. We have Austin Sendrick's Daytona 500 164. I really like how Lionel is making the race win die cast, especially in the Gold Series again. Because they did it a lot back then. But now they're bringing it back and they're doing it again. So... Pretty happy I got this Austin Cindric car. It looks pretty good for a 164 with all that confetti on it. So Thomas gave me this die cast because he had a duplicate. So he decided to give me this one and I don't have it. And this is the Ryan Blaney Daytona Coke Zero Sugar 400 win from last year. So, I mean, it's a really cool looking die cast. I didn't, I don't have this in my collection and he decided to give it to me and history is history. So uh, thanks Thomas for this. This is a Brad Keselowski Fastenal next gen die cast from the Wave, uh, Wave 4 of this year. 
pretty cool looking car. I love the scheme and I noticed that these cars, especially this one, does not have the Chrome 6 on it. Only the Gold Series have it. <clears throat> so uh, pretty cool I got this. I actually got this at the Lionel store. The Austin Cindric 2020 Champion 164 car. They had this like at the 15% off sale and I did not have this one. And so I picked it up and got it. Got this at my Walmart. This is the Austin Cindric number two auto trader car. Love this scheme. I think this scheme looks really good on the new number two car. And funny enough that they got the barcode right here instead of like at the bottom like they usually do. This is the last NASCAR 164 I have. This is the AJ Allmendinger Indy Road Course win from last year. The second cup win in his career. You know, AJ is a beast on the road course and I don't have this in my collection and saw it at Perkins and I ended up picking it up. So uh, shout out to Perkins Racing for selling diecast and I got this. So uh, pretty cool. Even though that was the last NASCAR 164 that I got recently, but I did get a IndyCar diecast a 164 diecast at the Lionel store. And uh, I got a Dave and Lucas because the reason I got Dave and Lucas is because I think Dave and Lucas is a really cool guy. I'm a Joseph Newgarden fan. But Dave Malukas in general, he was on a show called Cart Life that was on True TV. And that's how I remember Dave Malukas. Or you can call him Dave or David Malukas. I call him Dave because that's what they call him from the show. But David Malukas, uh, up and coming. Uh, he's already ran his season in IndyCar right now, so I uh, saw this and I picked it up. I forgot to show you these before the die cast, so I'm going to go ahead and show them. Uh, this is a John Force action figure, Dale Jarrett action figure as well, and we the last one is a Bobby Labonte. Shout out to Old Dog Thomas's dad for giving me these. I really appreciate it, Old Dog, for these. Thank you so much. I wish Hasbro or somebody will make NASCAR action figures. I highly recommend them to do it because if they do, they'll sell like hotcakes for sure. Especially if they make like Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, Joe, Joey Logano, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson. You know, NASCAR action figures, somebody needs to make them because they will make bank. So we're finally at the 124s and I am glad that I got some of these already in the mail. Some of these I actually picked up in person. First one I'm going to show you is Austin Cindric's Daytona 500 win. Pretty nice and it's autographed Elite by Austin Cindric and it is also autographed by his crew chief. Got a lot of confetti on this thing and it is such a beautiful die cast for sure. And I am so glad that I got this die cast. I was at the race seeing it happening. I mean, it's what what can you say? It's such a beautiful car. Such a beautiful die cast to get. And I love the chrome rims on it. It looks really good. And it is a rookie car as well. Just outstanding die cast and a good job on the confetti and everything on this thing. And I just I just love this thing. This is the Kyle Larson Hendrick Cars.com Elite. The main reason why I got this car is for the Daytona 500 pole win because Kyle Larson won the pole for this year's Daytona 500. So this is why I picked it up. It looks really good detailed and everything on the back side, on the top part of it. And this is an elite as well. Pretty nice. This is the recent NASCAR diecast that I recently just got. And this is the Kyle Busch Bristol dirt win from this year. This last win in the number 18 for Joe Gibbs Racing. It's got dirt on the front. There's the top of it, the back side. And it's got some dirt on the wheels of it too and on the rims. And hopefully I can get this autograph at one of the races I'm going to next year. And I can't wait to see him in that A car. I think he's going to do pretty good in that A car. Because we all know how Rowdy is. Rowdy is a very good, talented driver and he could wheel anything. He's definitely a wheel man. So... Kyle Busch's Bristol Dirt win. We have Mark Trex Jr.'s Richmond win, 2021 Richmond. Really loved this scheme a lot. I think this scheme is really nice looking. A lot of confetti on the windshield, less of it on the backside. And this scheme was ran during 9-11, um, on 9-11, uh, actually. Yeah, Mark Trex Jr.'s Richmond win right here. Love this car. 
It looks really good, and hopefully I can get this autograph too. Here's another diecast that I recently got as well. This is the Kyle Larson Charlotte Robowin autograph elite i actually bought this die cast a while back and when i found the autograph elite on the hendrick website i ended up picking this up and i sold my old version the only way you can ever tell if it's from the robo if it has the pink window neck because they run this for breast cancer awareness so uh pretty cool i got this die cast and it looks really good it's got a lot of confetti on the top for sure and it is autographing with the coa from the hendrick Really nice looking car. I want to give a big shout out to my co-workers for doing this for me and getting this die cast autograph. This is the Denny Hamlin Southern 500 win die cast and it is signed by the man himself. Really happy that uh, co-workers of mine got this signed for me. Uh, they also went to Martinsville as well. And the other side has got the tire marks and everything where, and it's also got a bent fender uh the quarter panel as it's doing the burnout and stuff and uh denny hamlin everybody uh saw this die cast and they're like wow that thing is really nice so and you know he was shocked that it came out that or uh it, he was surprised that it came out and it looks really good but uh thank you all so much for doing that for me and uh this was a really nice piece to have in my collection i got one more die cast to show you and i'm glad that i was there to see this and glad that I have this in my collection. This is Alex Bowman's Martinsville win from last year. This is actually my birthday gift. This is such an incredible die cast and such an incredible race to be honest since I was there and seeing your favorite driver win, it's, it's a different level. It's a new level for sure of excitement. But Alex Bowman's Martinsville win looks really good. Look at all the tire scuffs on the tires and everything. This thing is so beautiful. I just love this car. It's so nice. And hopefully I'll get it autographed too next uh, next year. As a birthday gift, seeing your driver win, it cannot get any better than that. It's gonna be in my collection forever. Not gonna part ways with this one for sure. I'm just happy to have this. And hopefully next year, Bowman will end up winning a lot more races with his new crew chief so hopefully that will happen all right that's all the die casts that's everything that i have for the pickups video if you enjoyed this video hit that like button also subscribe for more if you want more pickups videos thank y'all so much and also you can follow me on twitter and instagram as well thank you all so much i love every single one of y'all and just remember stay gold